So if we buy a Greenland, then it will be okay, right? Well, if we buy Greenland, yeah, no problem. Um, yeah. You know, the reason I think that <laughs> I don't want to claim to understand the mind of the Trump administration, but, you know, the reason that there are two potential reasons why you would be interested in it for strategic purposes, one of which it just has a strategic location, you know, it's between us and, you know, the Russians, and it was always used as a listening station. There were a lot of radar stations there. There was a, there used to be a big U.S. base there. Now it's a much smaller U.S. base. Um, so it has military significance, and it also has potentially a lot of mineral wealth. And the idea is, you know, as the ice sheet, you know, shrinks, more and more of the land will be exposed and the shipping lanes are becoming more open and potentially you could exploit some of that mineral wealth. But I think people in the uh, U.S. government don't appreciate a lot of factors about Greenland, one of which is it remains extremely difficult to get around Greenland. There are no roads in Greenland, so it's very difficult to operate there still. And secondly, the Greenlanders who are a sort of semi-autonomous nation within Denmark, they have their own, you know, rules of doing things. They're a very, um, you know, collective society, and they have um, made laws about certain forms of extraction that would really make it quite difficult for companies to just come in and, for example, extract rare earths. So I'm not sure how much eagerness there is, even among mining companies, to try to operate in Greenland.